morning guys i am very very soggy and absolutely loving my workout at the moment um but yes i was put off by the rain this morning i thought to myself i'm not going to go for a run and then i realized that's really silly am i going to let a little bit of rain stop me and the answer i told myself was no i'm out i don't regret it it's gorgeous but i'll see you at home I'm back at home. I have a very, very noisy, messy, crazy kitchen. So please bear with me. We are heading out today to go and see my in-laws. We're gonna have a full day with them before we go to France uh, um, on Friday. Um, so we're gonna be out all day and I've got loads of food to get ready. So this is gonna be a day of quick and simple eating on the go. How I kind of literally whip food together very, very fast for a family of four. So let me show you my ideas so far. So in here, sorry, I didn't really show you how to make it because it was a crazy morning. But in here, I've got a very, very basic tomato -y pasta, which I thought would be great for everyone on the go. Everyone can kind of do their own versions and have whatever they want. In here, I basically just blended up two carrots, three tins of tomatoes with some bouillon and some Italian seasoning. And then I put in two things of frozen garlic and some red lentils, just to like give it a bit of bulky heartiness to try and fill everyone up while we're out. So I'm gonna whack the lid on there. Boom. Then we've got my pasta going on in here. We've got this really cool, funky little pasta, which always makes me feel very fancy and special. Um, so we've got that going on there. And then I need to think about what the muffins I'm gonna have for breakfast. So I now need to think about two things. One is what am I having for breakfast? And two is what am I gonna be pairing with my pasta? So with my pasta, I'm pretty sure I've got some salad that needs eating, but I also really wanted some broccoli and green beans to have with it. So I'm gonna try and put that together really quickly. Um, and for Romy's very, in a very grumpy mood today, and so he's going to entertain themselves with some potato pudding. So there's some leftover orange that Romy did not want, so I think I'm just going to eat that really quickly um, while I do the other stuff. Okay, so these are all my findings from the fridge. Firstly, I thought the babies could have some avocado with their pasta for lunch. I found loads of grapes, so we're just going to take that as well. I'm also going to take a bunch of apples for just general snacky goodness. I'm sorry I'm talking fast and I'm on the go. That's just me. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a little bit of salad ready in here that I can put in with the pasta. Um, so for the salad, I'm keeping yeah. it quick and simple. I'm going to be doing a yogurty dressing. Maybe a tahini dressing. I'm not quite sure, actually. I'm going to be doing a nice dressing. Okay, see how this can be super fast. Smash that in. Boom. Low calorie density goodness. I've got one tomato left over. I've been caning them. And I love a tomato. I'm so sad. It's my last one. I need to buy some more. My new thing is I'm trying to clean up as I go and I'm finding it very hard. This is my very sad leftover cashew based dressing from I don't even know how long ago. Oh, but it's still tasting decent. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fluff it out with a bit of yogurt, a bit of lemon juice and a bit of other stuff. Okay, like a tablespoon of yogurt. Oh my dear, gosh, lots of lemon juice. If you guys have a husband who also disappears to the toilet at the most inconvenient time known to mankind, uh, please let me yeah. Garlic salt. Yeah. Give it a little mix. Yeah. Ooh, yes. No. That is a banging dressing. Can't go wrong. Any kind of creamy stuff, no. lemon, garlic, you're sorted. Yeah. Oh, Okay, I'm going to put that in there like that so that I can add it on separately. So I like to have one area of the kitchen over there where I put all of the stuff that needs to go out and then I can pop it in a bag real quick. Okay, avocado and grapes. Abe's got some leftover pizza from yesterday and I'm taking a full cucumber because we love cucumber. I don't know how long we're going to be out for so I always take backup so I'm taking carrots and apples. Yeah, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the other part of my veggies for my pasta. Okay, so I'm gonna have to cook my broccoli in here because I've got no free pans. By the way, I've been recording exactly for 11 minutes, so I am moving fast. You can do this speedier when you're on the go. Green beans. We need more, we need more. Right, I'm making loads of veggies just in case. Okay, sauce is ready and delicious. Oh yes, that's true. Pasta for dinner then. 
Okay, so it's gonna put some pasta in. Now I've made extra pasta so that we can save some for maybe like a pasta salad or something tomorrow uh, for while we're on the go, so I'll save that. Tomorrow is the first day of the official school holidays and um, I have got plans to take the babies out and to do some really fun things. And for that, I need to be prepared because I obviously take food everywhere we go. So I need to make sure I do a lot of pre-planning. In fact, I might do a little bit of like fun food prep with me kind of videos if you guys are interested for summer holiday stuff. If there, if there are any other mums out there who are going to be on the same journey, maybe we can do this together, right? Mmm. Smashing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a big pot of pasta, which we can separate at the other end, because otherwise it's just too fat for here. Okay, we need to leave in eight minutes and I still haven't made breakfast, so let me think about what the muffins I can have. We're going to go for blueberry blended two minute oats. Okay, so I've got like one or two frozen bananas in here for sweetness. I'm basically doing banana milk and I'm also making it blueberry style, so like blueberry banana milk. I thought it would give it a fun bit of colour and uh, yeah, why not? Okay, like a cup or so of water, cinnamon, oh my Jesus, and some vanilla. The one cup of oats going in and fill it up with the blueberry mix. Oh, look at that colour. This is kind of like a smoothie plus oats, I guess. You can look at it however you like. Give it a little mixy mix. Hopefully the oats will swell up over the next few minutes and uh, get nice and sweet and delicious. Mm. I want more crunch. I want more crunch, so I'm gonna go in with some frozen pineapple as well for extra sweetness. Okay, and about a cup or so of frozen pineapple, which we can just squeeze in there. Okay, very quick and simple breakfast, ready to rumble. Abe wants a quick snack for en route, so he's just gonna have a quick orange in the car. But I'm feeling very accomplished, and we made it with five minutes to spare. Mommy leftover porridge. Okay, so this is all the food that I've got together. We're just gonna pack it in a bag and then we're gonna get cracking. So everything got done in half an hour. I'm so proud of myself and I filmed it. I love filming, but obviously that's extra work as well. So I'm like, yes, Amy. And I feel like I've got that motivation and energy because I did my workout, I did my run and I'm just like super pumped for the day. So it can, the things you do in the morning can really carry through the rest of the day. We're all in the car en route and obviously I've got my oats with me. Um, but I thought before I get cracking with that, I thought I'd just quickly munch on a carrot and an apple for some good preloading stuff. I've had two carrots and an apple and now I'm diving in. We're now at my in-laws and we're super, super, super hungry. So uh, Romy's got some pasta. Oh my God, look how good that looks. And I'm gonna put myself together the biggest feast known to mankind because I'm absolutely starving. I've got my cooked veggies there. I've got my massive salad here and I've got my pasta and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So this looks ridiculous, but I asked for the biggest bowl in the house and this is this is what they gave me. So I've got all my salad in there. I've got um, like two thirds of the veggies and then just a nice couple of cups of pasta with my dressing on the top. I'm so excited to dig into this because I am starving. Oh my gosh, yes. That dressing is phenomenal. So lunch was absolutely delicious, finished the entire thing. And then we've all been nibbling on these uh, flavor bomb grapes. That's just some Romy's regurgitated pepper in there. Uh, but um, I've probably had about a quarter of the grapes and now I'm having a nice little apple, just as a nice little snack. I'm not, I'm getting a little hungry, not like super hungry, but I thought an apple would just do me because uh, we're probably gonna be heading home in about an hour. So that'll be fine for now. We are back from the in-laws and had such a lovely time. It was so lovely to see them before we go away to France. I had a few little secret munchables. I had a carrot and an extra apple and I've just eaten the peel from Abe's two apples because he's had apples and peanut butter. Um, it's about six o'clock, Romy is fast asleep. Uh, Abe and I are just chilling and I got some leftover soup from the other day, um, which I thought I would just quickly down whilst I try and figure out what the muffins I'm gonna be making for dinner because I really haven't got a clue. I've got some corn chowder in the fridge. We could have that. I could also make some more plantain truffles and I'm kind of feeling in the mood for that. So I'll let you know. 
So I've just finished my tiny portion of soup and I realized I am in love with that soup and I want more soup and I'm just gonna have some soup for dinner because that is what I'm craving. I also have two massive courgettes here that were given to us by James's auntie and uncle who grew them themselves. Um, and so I'm just gonna make a massive soup and I'm gonna make it extra starchy by adding loads of extra potatoes. So it's gonna be like a super hearty, like proper creamy, not a preloading kind of soup, just like a her kind of soup. But you know, sometimes even if it's so, so simple, you've got to go with whatever the heck, you, heck you're in the mood for. Um, and I am in the mood for soup. So anyway, it's a rainy day. We're gonna go soup. So I went hunting for some potato. I found sweet potatoes. So I'm actually gonna put these sweet potatoes in the oven. And if they are ready in time, I might also eat this big ham of sweet potato. I'm also dying for some more sweet potatoes. So we may have to do a quick run to the Indian shop later. Ah, potatoes. It's soup time. Oh my gosh. Super, super creamy. And I'm actually super excited. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Mm. I was also quite thrilled because my sister-in-law um, had a couple of courgettes and she was asking my recommendations as to what to do with them. And I told her about my courgette soup. So we made her a big batch of courgette soup. And so she's having that for dinner tonight as well. And I was pretty thrilled because I also showed her how to make it without any oil as well. So that was pretty cool. And I was, you know, telling her all about oil and how unnecessary it is. James and Romy are fast asleep on the couch. So Abe and I have been, we've been doing some boxing with some boxing gloves and now we're both just tucking on some soup. I've taken a couple of potatoes out of the soup and I'm just munching on them. I am actually addicted to this soup at the moment, so I have got my second big bowl, which is actually technically my third bowl, but it's just so delicious. I love it so much. So I just had to share what Jamesy is putting on his pizza. In case you have leftover Indian as well, you could put it on a pizza. James has got leftover, what is it? What is that? What is that? Butter leftover butter tofu. He's gonna to do mango chutney and also some cheese. So it's a very interesting concoction, but I just had to share it. So I had a couple of plantains left over and Romy really, really wanted them. So I whipped them up into like a chocolate truffle like I did last time, but I put a tablespoon of toasted coconut in it as well. And oh my gosh, it's very, very good. So Romy and I are sharing that. So I've currently had about one plantain's worth and I might have a little bit more. So loads of sweet potatoes have just come out of the oven and I realized I'm still hungry. So I'm gonna eat this little Hannah sweet potato, Ooh, although it's very hot.